and Murray Crossing and Coach Vince here with your Shred Talk for Thursday. Today's workout will start with an 8 minute Tabata. We will work for 20 seconds. We will rest for 20 seconds. We will start with a single leg group bridge on the right for the first minute. Then we will do a plank with, an, with side taps for that second minute. Then we will do a glute br single leg glute bridge on our left side for the next minute. And then a plank with an up down for the fourth minute. So essentially you will go through these each twice. Um, four total times, but a minute each. So you'll do 20 seconds of single leg glute bridges on the right side, rest for 10, do 20, rest for 10, we'll move on to our plank, and so forth. Once you get to that fifth minute, you'll be back around at the single leg glute bridge on the right side. Okay? After that core to body, we're going to rest for three minutes, and then we're going to go into four rounds of upper body work. So this upper body work will consist of 10 dumbbell floor presses, 10 dumbbell curls, and 10... Ten front to lateral raises. Okay, front to lateral raise rate is going to be really light. All right, from there we'll rest for three minutes and we'll go. We'll finish up with a ten minute and ramp of eight reverse lunges, ten squat jumps, and twelve kettlebell swings. Okay, so let's talk about these movements first for our single leg glute bridges. Just like our normal glute bridge, we're going to get down on that floor. Different things. We're going to lift one leg. Okay, we're going to lift that leg straight. My left leg now becomes the leg I'm driving off of. My range of motion may slightly decrease, but that's okay. We're going to drive up, squeeze the glute, come back down. Drive up, squeeze the glute, come back down. So that right there would be our single leg glute bridge. Um, that particular was the left side, so right and left. You can see how that works. Okay. Our plank with a side tap. We get into that nice high plank position, nice tight core, tapping out to each side. Okay. From there, we're back to that single leg group bridge, and then we're ending with that plank with an up down, dropping down to the elbows, coming back up. All right, so that is your first core to bottom. From there, you're gonna rest for three minutes, as I said, and then we'll go to our dumbbell work. So our dumbbell work will consist first of 10 floor presses. You see me with these lovely dumbbells here. I will be laying right on the floor. And you'll see me press from here, okay? So, elbows are at about a 45 degree angle or so, and we're pressing up. Elbows return to the floor, we're pressing up. That would be our floor press, all right? From the floor press, we'll hop on up, and we're just going to do 10 bicep curls, okay? Lastly, we'll do some front to lateral raises. So, this dumbbell may need to be a little lighter. We'll raise up, out to the side, and down. So we'll do 10 of those. From there, we will rest for three minutes again, and we'll finish up with our lower body work. So this will be a 10 minute AMRAP, meaning you'll just repeat these until you finish that 10 minutes. First things first, eight reverse lunges. Hands up nice and high. Alternating as we drop down. From there, we'll go to 10 squat jumps. Pushing those hips back, extending up overhead. Lastly, we'll finish with 12 kettlebell swings. If you have problems going overhead, these can be Russian just to your chin. If you don't, these are full American coming up over that head, okay? That being said, our warm up today will be we'll do an eight minute AM ramp for that warm up. You will start with just 30 seconds of jogging in place. From there, you will do eight alternating active Samson's, four per side, so we'll step in, open up, switch sides, and then finishing with some kettlebell deadlifts, eight of those. Okay? Good luck with this shred workout. Let me know how you guys do.